Hey guys, I am Navin Dan, son of Pachepan. My student ID is 04120331. Today we are going through for my project that I created for the Python programming course. So my title for my project is Face Recognition and Attendance. So there is a two project. The face recognition is uh, like to verify the test image and then uh, reference image can recognize or not. Then we will create the attendance project that will be used webcam for detect the faces and record the attendance live in an Excel sheet. So for this project, I use PyCharm. So PyCharm, there will be the this window. So there, there is a basic Python. This was the for face recognition and attendance Python for the attendance list. So first we can create with file new project. So here, here you all can create a new project. Then after create means we need to add some resources uh, like face recognition, CMake, and then Python, OpenCV Python, and then the library. So some all so Python PyCharm we can add the resources here file settings and then project so it's my project name Python project three so this is the Python interpreter so here we can download the resources here the symbol plus so we can search what we want to download here so. For, for all, I already downloaded the face recognition, the library, CMake, and then I have downloaded also Future also, and then NumPy, and then the latest version of PIP. Okay. And then after we have downloaded here, we can create the, our Python uh, title uh, here, which right click, new, and then Python file. So for this face recognition, I've used three faces of, first of all, I use my face as a reference and a test. So this was my test image. And then here my reference image. So two different clarification and then different uh, ages for photos. So we can find out the program here can verify that is correct image or not so this is my for recognize face recognition coding so first of all we need to understanding the problem first although many face recognition algorithm has been developed over the years their speed and accuracy balance has not been quite optimal and then, but there are some recent advances have shown the promise. A good example is a Facebook. We can see the uh, some of the face recognition uh, they improve in a Facebook. It's like a good quality also. So here I use some import CV2, uh, CV2 and import num as an NP. Import the face recognition. So we need to re, uh, addition for the image Navin, so I categorize at this, and then face recognition, so load the image file, where the file is located. So the file was located in, the name is in people. Here I listed the three features for as a test, okay. After that, we create first for the reference image and then test image. After reference and test, test image, we need to place the face location for the image. So it can be find the location of the far images and easily can open one. Right? So after that, we need to clarify the, like it's uh, color tones all like this. So I put the phone RC complex and then the size of picture is two. The color gradient is 255. To show the images, I put at the CV2, I am sure Navin, the folder name I put is Navin, and then the show name is Navin13. So weight key, I, I put a default zero. 
so first of all uh in my images all in under jpg properties when come to the pycharm we need to convert it to the rgb so here's my coding for the convert to the rgb so we try to run and then see the result so run basic okay here we can see the output is my the photo color clarity is not good but still it can identify my face too and then the decimal number is 0.48 it is the output so it can identify the my image color clarity so this is the face recognition for the basic uh, for use for the attendance so let's move on for the my attendance project as we use for the same words import cb2 import num as a pi and then face recognition to find the exact location of the images so i have put at the import os the pathway is image attendance so i create a file here image attendance and i put a three images here suren navin and then dharma so to create the folder here right click and then new the directory so directory so we you can access in a file and then so my location was stored in a window c so users user and then my pycharm project is labeled here so my project is python project 3 so here it will be created a folder so we can paste at the folder here so here the images so come to here so we need to uh, mention the images here and then class names so i put a uh, my list so maybe if uh, need to uh, verify the student for our attendance need to put the class names and then print my list for class names i put a cl in here in my list so in this one so like we need we extract the we program the coding to extract the images from the folder okay after we uh, extract the coding for the folders to find the folders then we need move on for the encoding the images is same as the before uh, we need to change the property of images to the rgb and then here is the same and then but here we didn't mention the name of the uh, picture name because it will be identified automatically because it was attendance uh, project so here define the mark attendance name so here need to put the attendance csv then we need to encode the list known and equals to the finding images so when we run for until here is uh, it shows the encoding complete and then the class students name it will be display here here need, we need to put the encode list equals to a zero box to verify it can identify the how many student was in a class so our class was in 3% so after we run it will show the tree and then show the name of the students all here so later on i run you can see at the output so after that so our our project aim is to verify the video capture it can cap when we show the photo of in webcam it will identify the name and then time they enter the class so we need to put a cv2 and the video capture as default as zero after that we need to verify the color gradient and the size of the images so is the here yeah, this the coding while through we put the images and locations of the foot images location and then Here is the size of the pixel of images. I put a number at here. So the font size as default we can change uh, to any font style, but I choose the font RC complex and then the color gradient I put a, a wide and a size is two. 
so mark attendance as a name so as a same i i put the output in a webcam so we try to run and then see the output run so we use in under attendance python so it will show the run attendance before it shows the run basic so where we make sure you click and uh, write uh, run for the coding so it will show the error because I, I'm using the webcam at here, but it already been done. We can see the list of the students at here and encoding is completed. So if we did not, uh, I mean, uh, if I didn't use the webcam, we can see the, we can see clearly, uh, it will open the webcam and when you show the images, it will be uh, marked as a, what name we, we mentioned. So that's all guys in my project. I've put, I have mentioned the attendance coding at here. So whoever want to try can try and then make sure the webcam all in webcam access is granted for the Google. Thank you.